guys, what's up? It's Sydney and welcome to my 12 days of Christmas or as I like to call it, 12 days of makeup. <laughs> I'm not sure if this has ever been done before. I'm sure it has been. It kind of goes into like the vlog miss category. But since I don't really do vlogs anymore, I definitely want to just focus on my makeup and my makeup career. So I am turning this 12 days of Christmas into 12 days of makeup. Vlogmas would have been a lot for this. I honestly don't really have the time to do something like that. But I am so excited that I planned this for myself. I think it'll definitely push me to just keep doing a lot of makeup tutorials to get everyone really engaged. And coming back to my channel, I hope you like my um little bow. But anyway, to explain this, for the next 12 days, I will be posting all holiday, December, christmas -y makeup tutorials. So make sure you stay tuned for the next 12 days. Well, 11 after this, but 12 including this one. But um, anyway, make sure you stay tuned for the next 12 days for a different look each day. Also, one thing I'd like to point out, which I literally had no idea, like ABC Family or Freeform or whatever it's called now, always did like 12 days of Christmas. Oh no, they did 25 days. Of Wait, what did they do? I don't know. Whatever the, whoever made up this 12 days of Christmas thing, I never knew what these 12 days were. And I looked it up and these 12 days of Christmas actually start on December 25th and then go to January 5th, which I thought was interesting because I feel like once the holiday is over, no one is really celebrated. I don't know, my opinion doesn't really matter. But anyway, we're starting 12 days of Christmas now. Today, we'll be going until December 25th. So make sure before I get started that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss out on the next 12 days and ring that little bell so that you definitely get notified of my next few uploads for the next two weeks, give or take. And before I begin, make sure you give that video a thumbs up. Okay, so in this tutorial, I am going over how to achieve this makeup look. I'm not gonna go over any face instructions just because I did cover that in my last video, which I will link down below in case you guys missed that. But I am going to go over this eyeshadow tutorial and I'm showing you how I achieved this look. I did do my makeup like this for SantaCon. I don't know wherever you guys are. I don't know if you have that anywhere, but basically a bunch of people dress up like Santa, elves, or just wear like red, green holiday things. Um, and you know, we spend the day drinking a little bit. But I did have this look on. It stayed literally from 7 a.m. when I first started doing it to like 8 p.m. 9 p.m. when I took it off. So I'm going to give you a makeup tutorial that will make this stuff stick. Maybe it sticks because of my products, but regardless, I'm showing you how to achieve this eye look. I'm gonna stop talking and we are going to get into this video right now. Okay, so as you can see, I have done a little bit of my face makeup. I have zoomed you guys in drastically, so. <laughs> Hi. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with the eyeshadow look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work on one of the eyes and then do the other one off camera so I'm not boring you guys to death. And you'll be able to complete this tutorial on your own if you do go through and watch this entire video. So I started off with the ColourPop Smoke Show palette and I'm going in with my JS13 brush into the shade Slated. So I actually found that when I am in a rush and doing my makeup, I somehow pull it all together a lot better than I do when I actually take my time. I think because I just like don't think when I'm going. So I was getting ready at literally 7 a.m. doing this look. I kind of had an idea what I wanted to do, but oh, by the way, I'm just kind of stamping this in my crease and we'll blend it out. But anyway, I, it's weird when you can't see my mouth when I'm talking, I think. Let's zoom you out a little bit. How's that? Okay, so I'm getting ready at 7 a.m. trying to figure out everything for SantaCon. Just grab any blending brush to just slowly blend this out. And I had kind of an idea what I wanted to do. I know I wanted to do like 
a smoky eye with red, black, silver, green, all the work. But again, 7 a.m. Didn't really have a lot of time to think about everything. And the look came out literally perfect. Meanwhile, I tried filming a video like two weeks ago, taking my time on something that I normally don't do, and it came out awful because I think I just need to like not think and I just need to do. It's gonna be my new strategy when I do my makeup is winging it and just doing what I think is going to be best for me. Now I'm just blending this out with a smaller blending brush, kind of giving it that little shading effect. I'm gonna use the same small brush to go into the shade Let's Do It, and I'm gonna stamp that right underneath to darken it up a little bit. I think this was actually like my first ColourPop eyeshadow palette that I've ever owned and I'm in love with it. I'm 100% going to continue buying their products. The pigment is just insane for the price. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. I'm just blending this out a little more all together. And then I'm kind of just brushing this out to the side a little bit. I'm blending it out just slightly, nothing too dramatic. And then we can go in and clean that up later with a little bit of concealer and a sharp edged beauty sponge. From here, I'm just gonna take my P. Louise primer base and you already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and create that cut crease. Bring it about three quarters of the way over. We are going to keep using that black color, so no need to do anything crazy. All right, so like I said, we're going back into the shade Let's Do It, and we are just stamping this on the outer corner. Okay, then I'm picking up my Curly Bible palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm going into this red shade, and it is called Stev. So with this, just stamping this. And we will go ahead and blend everything together, so don't worry, it might look like a mess. We're just stamping this in the middle and slowly start bringing it into that black color. Now feel free to use a brighter red if that is what you are about. And I just kind of transition going back and forth, stamping the black into the red, the red into the black to get the perfect blend that I am looking for. I did something wrong. I forgot I didn't use that palette. I just remembered. I used my James Charles Morphe palette. Yes, this is where I went wrong, people. So I am actually using this red color right here. I knew something was wrong. It doesn't matter what red color you use though. Point blank. This is the shade you're hitting. There we go. That's that pigment I am looking for. I'm just blending this all on the lid. Okay, I'm now going into this ColourPop gel glitter, I think it is. And it's in the shade Wish Me Luck. I'm so obsessed with this glitter. I don't know why I have not found it earlier, but I have it now, so it's okay. And we are just stamping this and slowly blending it out on the inner corner, onto the red, and just kind of slowly blending it across the red. So we want most of it to pop on the inside. I do want a little sparkle on the red so that it looks like it's blended and it kind of fades out into the black. So we do wanna focus heavily on the inner corner and then slowly blending that out. And we don't really want it to get on the black outer corner because we wanna make sure that that pops. If you need to, do a little blending if it makes you feel better. I think it's coming out very nicely. I'm just gonna blend out this top a little bit. From there, I'm going into this green shade right here. I wanted to be sure that I got a pop of red and a pop of green in my eyeshadow look. 
So I went ahead and went into the shade Daddy. And I blended this out on my lower lid. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that black shade again and blend that out a little bit on the outer corner. Blending that into the green. From there, I'm picking up that Smoke Show palette again and I'm going into this middle silver color. And this is called Starstruck. This silver, hold on, can you see it? Can you see it? Like, the pigment in this palette is unreal. Like, I barely picked anything up. Look at that. What? Whoa. So we're just focusing this on the inner corner. How do they do it? And then from there, I'm taking that small blending brush and blending the green into that a little bit so that it all morphs together. And then going into this color, color cop. <laughs> going into this color pop glitter one more time and just placing a little bit of that on the inner corner. When I'm doing my eyeshadow looks, I I don't think I'll ever understand how people do their brow before they do it because I always get my highlight up in there. I'm also taking a little bit of this gel glitter, whatever it is, and highlighting my brow bone with that while also keeping some of that shimmery silver on this brush. Eh? Eh? See, like I'm already done one eye. It It's so easy to do. It doesn't take long at all. But with this, we get our green, our red, silver, white, sparkle, black, dramatic, smoky eye look, and I love it. Did not take too much time, and I got so many compliments on this. Well, let me finish the rest of my face, and you will understand the look when I put it all together. So off camera, I'm gonna go do my mascara, my brows, the rest of my face, but I did wanna focus this tutorial mainly only on the eyes, especially because I did just post a video how I do my entire face foundation contour deal. So we're not gonna get into that today. Just wanted to focus on one eye and I will be sure not to speed this up when I edit, except by the time that you see this, you would have already seen the entire tutorial. So this is irrelevant. Okay, I'm hopping off camera. I'm gonna shape this up a little bit with concealer and some powder and I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and put on some mascara, some lashes, I completed the other eye, so all that's left to do is put on some highlighter, I put some blush on if I didn't mention that. All right, so I am using this Fenty Beauty highlighter in the shade Chills. I have used this before, gives you a nice, blue tint of highlight, which I think is great for winter time. It's very snow-like, if you know what I mean. Wow, I love Fenty's highlighters. I love them. Fenty's highlighter, Fenty Beauty highlighters by Rihanna. I love Rihanna's highlighters. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying ever. And then for this look, I finished it off with some ColourPop Lip Liner and Lippy Stick. So this lip liner is in the shade BFF2. I said it once before, I will say it again. I do not know how ColourPop does it because this lipstick shade... Blah. This lipstick stayed on my mouth literally all day, from what I remember. Oh, and this lippy stick is in the shade Cami. That is a matte lip. And there you have it. Okay. 
Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I literally love this look. I'm so happy with it. I hope you guys are happy with it too. I think it gives off some nice, sexy Santa vibes, I guess. Definitely a very smoked out smoky eye with a pop of glam into it is how I would explain it. I don't even know. But yeah, I love it. I got so many compliments on it, so thank you to everyone who complimented me. I think anyone would be able to pull off this look just following this tutorial. Just take your time, be patient. If you guys have any fun, exciting holiday events coming up, bang. You can always customize it with different colors. Definitely take that into consideration. Okay guys, so that wraps up this video. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up for my very first video in 12 days of makeup. Still not sure if that's a thing. We gonna make it a thing if it isn't. And subscribe down below so that you guys do not miss the rest of these 12 days of makeup. I am coming at you with so many different winter Christmas holiday vibe look so make sure you stay tuned for that for the next 11 days and I hope to catch you guys in the next one and if not well I won't say see you this time or for the next 11 videos because it is the holiday season so I want to make it on the nice list so um I'll see you next time